Thank you for tuning in and listening to Bob Bennett. Bob Bennett meets with the students of North American University, discussing the benefits of interning. consists of and so uh, I, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions and uh, uh, I'm very interested in your responses so how many of you were born not in the United States okay good how many of your parents were probably not born in the United States okay so what basically I'm talking to is a group like me of immigrants because I'm an immigrant even though I came a little earlier than probably some of you okay and to give you some of my background and the reason that I'm going to be talking about several topics is for you to understand the direction I'm coming from and what I'd like to accomplish in our presentation today so even though my parents my forefathers came here in 1630 we are still all immigrants and we're still experiencing what America is all about. And let me throw out something else. There is an incredible network of organizations, of volunteer organizations that are part of the city. And I understand the transportation. I understand you don't have a car. I understand that the bus is bad. I understand that there's not exactly a subway here in Houston, okay? But to make an effort to get out in the community whether it's your mosque, your church, your temple, whatever it is, to associate with people other than those who you are at school with is really essential. Now, if you come over here and hang out with nothing but Mexicans or hang out with nothing but people from Azerbaijan, the chances are when you leave here, you will have the experience of hanging out with Mexicans and hanging out with people from Azerbaijan, which is great, but that's not the experience you want to have, okay? so. You need to think not only as you're putting together your career plan, not only as you're putting together what you're going to major in, not only as what you're thinking about as far as getting uh, uh, an internship, but you really need to think, do I really want to stay with, uh, live with, if you get off campus, the same type of persons that I'm always around? Now, when I walk through the campus, I see sort of these groups, okay? And I think that's fine. I think maybe uh, your initial year, your freshman year, you're getting used to it, you're coming to America, you've never been here before. But after that, there, you should have a real emphasis on trying to broaden that out. And the other thing about this city is we are the most diverse city in the world. And uh, I love Istanbul, the East meets the West. I've been there four times. I enjoy going there I feel very comfortable walking around almost any place but um, Houston has more diversity than even Istanbul okay and uh, there are all types of networks that you can clue into depending on your background depending on your religion depending on your culture that you can move into and then go to others besides that that you can put together a body of your work okay so Traditionally, a portfolio talks about somebody who's an artist, and you can see the graphic design, you can see the painting, you can see the photographs. But the same can be done with a portfolio. We had some uh, students who helped us on uh, uh, planning events, okay? So uh, management of events, I guess there's a name for that, planning, uh, event managed planning. Event planner, okay? And we did a seminar, had over 100 attorneys, and these students helped with that. And so on their resume, or part of their portfolio, they can put that down as an experience they've had. So not only do, are you looking for the volunteer, not only looking for the internship, but you're looking, how can I put together a portfolio, even as a freshman, to put this together so I can present that to an employer and say, this, I have done this event. I have helped uh, two of these students. I have worked on this website. I have helped to develop this uh, app, okay? 
and when you're talking about the actual practical experience, the question is, you know, I've never heard of North American Stallions. I've never heard, where is that? You know, the question is, what have you done, and then what can you do for me? Texas is a very strange state, okay? So you've come to a state that has some very interesting aspects to it. One, you will come to a state uh, that uh, is gun crazy. And I don't know whether you've either thought about that or considered that. We now have an open carry law in the state of Texas. And uh, the best thing I can tell you is what I do. If I see somebody in a place with a gun, I go the other way. So this will be just kind of a cultural uh, uh, little uh, critique and cultural suggestion. So it's a, but at the same time, the word Tejas, which is an Indian word, which translated into Texas, meant friendly. So Texans can even be friendly with their guns. So uh, I would uh, keep that in mind. Um, now, how do you get an internship? Uh, we have an office here that you should know and go and visit. Uh, private and public staffing agencies, websites like Mon Monsters.com, Internships.com, uh, contact, contact companies directly, student professional organizations, business organizations, network, network, network. So there are a couple of people who held up their hands, and I'm curious about this, who've done internships. How did, uh, stand up please, and what's your name? So, Carlos, and where are you from, Carlos? Mexico. Okay, do you know this guy here? Well, he's from Mexico. You should get to know each other. And then don't hang out. Don't hang out. Because what happens when Mexicans get together, they talk Spanish. And you can't talk Spanish at all. You all both speak very good English, and that's what you need to practice. Thank you for tuning in and listening to Bob Bennett.